What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I know it's been a minute since it's been a minute. It's been a while since I've actually done this. Holy crap, so much things has happened in 2017. And this is what this video is all about. Just recapping on 2017. Holy crap, where do I begin? Like in all honesty, where do I begin? Where do I start? Well, let's take it back to January of 2017. I actually started my first official blog and I called it Chasing Visions. And the link is right here, chasingvisions.com. And I wanted to, you know, honestly get a little bit more in debt and personal with um, my life. But the only thing I didn't like about my blog is that I don't like writing. I don't like writing or typing. Like I rather just speak like this. It's a lot more easier for me and it gets more personal that way you guys know my personality, you know, and I was introduced to a credit um, System we actually call it Malia's bitches system. She sat down with me talked to me about credit and and It just took off it literally took off. I mean, I, I was able to build my credit close to almost 800 the highest i got up to was 790. her system basically teaches you how to leverage everything and take it to levels that i couldn't even imagine taking my self financial goals to i love it i freaking absolutely love her system i mean it's just the shit, honestly january 26 that's when it all started and my life literally changed i'm not gonna lie and i'm so grateful for her malia you know i love you girl thank you so much for it for just opening it up to me and I was I told myself that I wanted to just travel um, to at least five to six destinations in 2017 and whew, I did I'm so grateful for that um, let's see um, February I ended up going to Seattle Washington to visit my girlfriend Kelsey has a beautiful home there um, and I got to see her beautiful face with her beautiful family and we got to stay there for like the weekend, it was really nice. Um, my goal at that time was to just see snow. I've never seen snow in my life. Um, and so we, we went everywhere. We got to go up to the slopes and touch snow, play snow, you know, and I was able to do that and travel with my um, son, my, my little two-year-old baby. Um, so he was able to see snow at that time too. So it was a, such an amazing, a refreshing trip for me um, to start off 2017 I really needed a refreshing trip after Seattle I ended up booking and surprising my mom for her 50th birthday um, she's never been to Vegas um, for like years and years and years so I literally booked her um, flights and her sister which is uh, mama Allah she um, her between her between my mom and her they're like my moms and their sisters so I surprised li I literally surprised booked her um, those flights literally on 20 the 2017 February I think it was February 4th whenever the Super Bowl was after the game was over I sent them the text and screenshot of our booked um, flights and they were just like crying. So I was so grateful and so blessed that I got to um, bless my mom and my auntie because they do so much for me and my family. And I'm always just so grateful for you know them helping helping me out with my house um, and my my grand my grandfather and my grandfather, which is their dad. But my grandfather is more of like a dad to me. So, anyways, I'm just grateful. And I, you know, for me. Um, all my goal was for 2017 was to just bless everyone you know bless the ones that love and and appreciate you and take the time to you know help you out and stuff like that and my mom and my auntie um, mama Allah is the two most important women in my life that truly helped me out you know with um, my, my family so I'm grateful for them and I love you guys so much and I always thank you guys for everything oh my god I want to cry right now it was awesome it was an awesome awesome trip in May I'm like totally forgetting like the dates when I went but we went to Disney World oh my gosh that was the most amazing amazing experience ever um, we have never been to I've never and my kids have never been to any Disney anything we haven't even been to the Disney Aulani okay um, but we haven't been to Disneyland my ultimate goal for um, 2017 was to take my kids and my family on a Disney uh, vacation trip 
we ended up going to Disney World all the way in freaking Florida. I mean, wow, it was amazing. Um, it was me, my husband, um, my two kids, and my other kid, <laughs> my other kid, um, Laiku, which is my cousin's um, son. But you know, it was such an awesome experience, and I'm so glad that my kids, being 11 years old, um, got to experience it and. And I'm glad we just skipped over Disneyland and went straight to like the biggest one, you know. I think honestly I had more fun than my own kids. <laughs> I was riding more rides than them. I was like all into it, dude. Disney World 2017 was amazing. We went to the Big Island. Um, it's a neighbor island here um, in Hawaii. It's actually the our Hawaii. And I've never been to the Big Island since I think either the fourth grade, um, our fourth grade field trip. That is like years since I've been to Big Island. So I went to visit my cousin Alicia um, and she took me up to all the spots I've never ever been to and it was so freaking amazing, beautiful, relaxing. I needed it. And that was just me and my husband. We went um, and it was just an amazing trip. You guys go Big Island is definitely a place you guys gotta go because Big Island is honestly out of all the islands I live on Oahu but out of all the islands I would either my favorite would actually be Hawaii the Big Island and then my second one would be Kauai and then my third one would be Maui Oahu would probably be like my fourth one to me it's so peaceful there it's so not crowded um, and um, I don't know, just, it's just something about Big Island that I just truly love. And then July actually offered to be a part of a vlogger retreat um, in Bali. And that one was like so amazing and huge for me. I got to be a part of a retreat in Bali and meet the number one or number two travel blogger of the world. Like holy crap everything just lined up for me her name is kirsten rich and she is the blonde abroad um and she is just such an amazing inspiring motivating woman and um she's young holy crap she's younger than me and she's traveled to so many countries and i'm so just glad and grateful for kirsten to choosing for choosing me to be one of the you know, girls to meet you and um, be a part of an amazing experience. I mean, I went to Bali. I got to play with monkeys. I got to learn what she does, you know, for a living. And now I can implement that in my life, on my daily lives and my work, you know, and, and just go from there, you know. Um, when I was there in Bali, a third world country, guys, crazy. It was the most amazing spiritual healing, blessed, comforting. Oh my God, I don't even know. It was, I don't, I like, oh my God, it's, it was such an amazing experience, guys, because I didn't like, oh my God, just being there, like, truly made me appreciate the shit I have here at home, like, being honest. Um, because, the people there they're so nice not even one person I met that was like angry you know or negative and sorry I don't want to go to cry just because I look at everything I have around me and that you know like materialistic things and stuff and I'm just like shit like wow I'm super grateful for everything I have in my life um because there's people that don't have what we have you know and being in Bali and seeing the people there I mean they're grateful they're spiritual you know and and they're thankful for everything everything that they have um, I think that's one thing I took with me um, coming home you know just being grateful for everything that I have um, and I love it Bali is such an amazing place it holds a place dear to my heart like I, I want to go back again I want to take my family I want to I want them to see and experience um, their world they actually stayed in like a mansion okay it was huge we had our own infinity pool I mean yeah it was such an amazing experience I'm grateful for IOC for having me um, I'm grateful for Kirsten Rich for meeting you and and for you know 
for you to share what you go through and and open up to us and I'm I'm grateful and and I just want you to know that you pushed me to do more with my life and and to achieve my goals because it is honestly dreams can come true dreams truly can come true you just got to believe in yourself and do it and surround yourself with people like her that's gonna get you there one place that you guys would want to go Bali you would love it and then let's see zoom, 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 zoom. November was my birthday which led up to the amazing most epic trip of my life <laughs> no I'm serious um, November was my birthday and November um, 25th to December 3rd we went to Tahiti so if you guys have been watching my um, my vlogs yes I went to Tahiti with my husband and holy crap so if you don't know Tahiti was my number one top destination on my list and I kept telling myself you know what I'm gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna go we're gonna make this happen and we did I did I made it to my first number one travel top destination on my list on my bucket list was Tahiti and I went be above and beyond and I knew that it, I could because with the amount of cryptocurrency that we have I was like you know what we're gonna do this babe. I'm going all out this is my birthday I'm gonna treat myself I deserve it you know and that's what I did so we went to Tahiti first um, then we went to Moorea which is another island um, in Moorea we got to ride ATVs um, we got to do an aqua helmet blue oh my god it was so much fun just so 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 much fun um, after that, we flew from Moorea to Bora Bora. In Bora Bora, we got to swim with sharks and stingrays. And oh my God, it was just so amazing. And then we also got to, my husband got to go and die for his, our, my own clam. Choose the clam of his choice. And inside of the clam was a pearl. Um, and the pearl, I got to make it into a ring, which is sitting up there somewhere. <laughs> But it's so it was such an amazing experience. If if you guys do end up going to Tahiti, Bora Bora, you gotta do the Die for a Pearl um, adventure. That was just one thing that just totally it was the last day and it just ended my trip. It was the best amazing trip of 2017. And now because of that trip, we are going to be going back to Tahiti every single year for my birthday, but next time we'll be bringing the kids. I miss Tahiti so much, but I'm so grateful that I got to experience it. And now I can, you know, this year I'm going to share it with my family and, you know, hopefully everybody else out there can share it with us too. And then December was our family Christmas reunion. Um, we didn't really have a reunion reunion, but we just had a Christmas party. On behalf of me and Petty, my husband, obviously, um, we decided that every year we usually do the white elephant game where our families bring, you know, gifts and this and that. I and my husband wanted, um, ended up donating, like, we, we spent like over $3,000 on gifts. And it was the most amazing feeling for me just because like I said everything for me last year was to give back to my to my family because like they, they like I said they're the ones who I love and appreciate you know and I just wanted to give back and share you know I just wanted to give back and share and and that's what we did so I ended up buying TV I bought a TV I bought laptops like oh my god tablets I bought freaking holy crap um, Michael Kors wallets like holy it was like a whole shitload of stuff and I just I didn't even care I was just like yep swipe that Bitcoin swipe that Bitcoin uh, my family is happy and they deserve it you know they everyone deserves everyone deserves to be happy and I'm just glad I got to share that and give that to them uh, we played games all night which was so much fun and so that's it guys that is basically a recap of 2017 of uh, everything that I did in 2017. Not, I mean, I obviously did more, but that was this was more of my bigger things. And now the 2018 list begins, so I'm so excited for that. Um, I wrote it out already. I'm like just halfway there. I think I'm gonna write like a whole book. <laughs> Honestly, remember to chase your visions, you guys. I promise you, if you stay focused and you chase your visions and you believe in yourself, go one direction, you're gonna get it. You're gonna reach your goals. Honestly, whatever it is in life, do it. Do it with heart. Do it with passion. Do it because you want to do it. Do it because 
you're happy, you know, it makes you happy. Don't give a fuck what other people think. I don't, I am so motivated. I'm so in tune with myself. I'm so in tune with Heavenly Father. Like, he knows what I want. He knows what I want and he knows what I'm gonna get and what I'm gonna work my ass off for. And I'm not gonna make no excuses for it. I'm just gonna get shit done. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed my 2017 recap. Um, stay tuned guys. I will have more videos, especially on crypto, credit, whoo, traveling, all, yeah. Watch out guys, it's coming. And that's it guys, until my next one. Aloha. Oh, I gotta fix my hair a little bit. Oh, I gotta fix my hair a little bit. This is what I gotta do when I do my thumbnail. I have to like, pause myself for a little bit. Smile, cause I'll do a screenshot right after. And I'll insert the words like right here. Then